time in your slop. Just invite yourself in, why don't you? I thought you might need waking up. Joking. Been up ages. Normally go for a run round about now. Is this a booze run or a run run? Like as long as you're sharp enough for today. Like I said, locked and loaded. Good, because I need you up to speed in this. I thought we'd already gone through all this. According to the rota, the driver's a scrawny little bloke, so probably not even a match for you, even after your skinful yesterday. Great. So what are we waiting for? I'm just making it clear that we can't afford mistakes today. Well, follow my lead, there won't be any. Hardly an amateur, am I? Yeah. Yep. I see that about you. Oh, come on. You need me, pal. Don't forget it. <laughs> you say that like you'd let me. Huh? No, from Uncle Zach. Couldn't... You all right there? Oh, thank God. Um, I'm not all right, no. I, I've broken down and I'm so rubbish with cars, I don't suppose you're any better. No expert, love, but I can take a look. I've got some tools in my cab. Well, aren't you just my little Christmas miracle? <laughs> not so little. Now you then? Hey? Who's he? It's my boyfriend! I said to come and help, I didn't think he'd be here so soon. Is that right? Ah! Brilliant. I think thank you, charity, is what you're grappling for. Hey. Do you? I mean, there was me expecting Walter the softy and out rolls giant haystacks. Yeah, it's not my fault they changed drivers last minute. How did you know how hard to hit him anyway? Well, like I said, I'm not an amateur. That old dude was lucky here, I don't know. What even is any of this stuff anyway? I don't worry about it. Just think of it as a week in the Bahamas, some shopping trips and some shoes. Well, I'm all right for shoes, ironically. I mean, I'm not some ditzy little stiletto housewife, thank you. I can't find my way around an engine. Why are you asking, then? <sighs> Just not supercar engines, it turns out. <sighs> so I take it to no, then, to the Bahamas. What about it? Well, uh, if I said I'd take you, you know, for a laugh, with all the cash you made from this lot... I'd have to think about it. What with you being an annoying know-it-all and someone who thinks he's sex on legs? I wasn't actually asking you, by the way. I just wanted to see how much you fancied me. Oh, you were so asking. And I don't, is the answer. Well, uh, I can always test it out. Oi! Move, and I'll swing for you. Oh, God. You really didn't factor this into a meticulous little plan, did you? Just shut up. In there, both of you. What? No way! Just shift it. Listen, he's the one that put me up to this. I've got kids! Nice. She's the one that hit you, mate. That's all right, pal. Hey? We're blocking the road just so I can do with the mechanic. I just need this scum sorting out. You what, why? These jokers held up my truck, walloped me over the head. You are scum. That's half my delivery in the air van there. I'm doing whims though with it by one. Well, you better get it reloaded then, aren't you? I'll keep my eye on these two. What? Mate, I'm a second hand black belt in karate. They're going nowhere, trust me. Right. You better have this too. Be on the safe side. Right, what now? That was about you two Muppets, thank me for saving your backsides. Nosy neighbour. What? Now, are you sure that driver didn't clock any of our regis? No, but I'm hoping the fact he's currently locked in a truck goes in our favour. Well, all trucks like that have got trackers on them now, so it's only a matter of time before someone picks him up. Yes, at which point he'll be describing a redhead, a masked man and... karate expert. Sorry, would you find this as funny if you were getting locked up for armed robbery? What were you doing? Sorry, have you forgot the fact that we've just lifted several grand's worth of gear? Yeah, and dragged me into it as well. 
We're your family, OK? We should all have each other's backs. Like you had me mum's back yesterday, yeah? For fear of sounding like a stuck record, if Paddy had even bothered inviting me... Oh, you know I save it, Charity. Is this about you wanting a cut or something? Oh, my God. Well, what then? Because you're hardly a saint yourself, in case you hadn't noticed. Right, so tell me why you did it, then. Was it for Moses? Or to have a roof over your head? No, I didn't think so. It's because you're bored, Charity. Most of all, you're bitter. Oh, says you. I don't know, I've had enough of this, I'm getting out. Where are you going? Anywhere I want. Well, don't tell Kane, OK? Because if Sarah and Noah find out about this, Aaron, wait! Smooth. Oh. Well? What? What did Aaron say? Because if Noah and Sarah get wind of any of this... Oh, don't worry about that. He says he'll keep his mouth shut. I think I intimidate him. You've been gone ages. I went for a beer afterwards. Never said I had to report straight back. OK, well, cheers for that. Did you miss me? I'm sorry, what? Oh, don't get too mad with yourself. It happens when people spend time around me. Probably that grotesquely oversized head of yours. And now you're insulting me, which only proves my point. You were thinking about the Bahamas, weren't you? What it'd be like if I take you? Yeah, because I'm so drawn to narcissistic egomaniacs. Oh, you're not feeling me. I think you were dying to kiss me earlier. We've already done that, haven't we? No good came of it that time. Hmm. Well, I thought that was part of the appeal. Me being no good makes it more fun. You just don't know when to give up, do you? Oh, I can give up any time I like. I've got plenty of options. I just happen to like you most. Oh, please. Was that a flat no, then, or, or what? <sighs> what the hell? Unbelievable. Yep. <laughs>